Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. I'm Get Good Guy, and today I'm talking to you about why mouse and keyboard support could be terrible for console first person shooters. But why am I talking about this? Well, there's been reports from multiple outlets that Microsoft and Razer are working together on mouse and keyboard support on the Xbox One. I'll link to the initial article that I read in the description below if you're interested in getting your own information from it. But I actually first came across this via a tweet from Westy. For those of you who aren't aware, he's one of the bigger Battlefield 1 content content creators on YouTube, and he made the joke that he might be playing Xbox One more often now if mouse and keyboard support does come to fruition, essentially because it'll be easier kills for him as he's a PC player. Now I'm not knocking Westy at all, it's just a joke, I get that, uh, <laughs> I don't harbour any ill will towards him, but the problem lies in why there's humour in his statement. The humour comes from the fact that it's true. Playing mouse and keyboard against controllers does give a huge advantage in almost, if not all, first person shooters. I know some people will prefer controller and they play on PC etc etc, but the vast majority of the time, mouse and keyboard wins and controller users are simply choosing to accept the disadvantage when playing on PC. If we look at it briefly from a Battlefield specific point of view, as that's the main focus of this channel, mouse and keyboard coming to console could be a disaster. Many of you will have seen what PC snipers can do for example. Imagine that on console, it's going to be extremely hard to compete against them, especially considering the massive auto rotation nerf that came in which I do fully support and I'm really pleased did happen, but your average console player is going to get destroyed by your average PC player. Mouse and keyboard just allows a player to be potentially so much faster and so much more precise. I've mentioned this in another video before, but if you want to test out how different it can be in a very basic fashion, get hold of a mouse and put the cursor on a small detail somewhere on your monitor as quickly as you can. Now place just the end of your thumb on the mouse as if mimicking a controller thumbstick and try to put the cursor quickly on another specific part of the screen by just maneuvering in that fashion. I'm willing to bet it was a lot harder, a lot slower, and a lot less precise. Sure, it's a very basic measure, but you get the principle of it. Now some people will say, what about scuff controllers and elite controllers? That's the same thing, right? And I'm open to other people's opinions, but for me, that's not even close to the same thing. These controllers still have you aim and essentially play the game in the same way. It's just a bit easier to jump and crouch, etc. whilst looking around. And again, if we go back to Battlefield specifically, I don't think it alters the gameplay in any way at all. But from an overall FPS standpoint, it doesn't completely transform the individual's gameplay, and these controllers are accepted in the vast majority of professional console gaming competitions and organisations. What you don't see, and likely will never see in those competitions, is mouse and keyboard support against controllers, because it's just not a fair fight. It's an entirely different way of playing the game. The only way you would see it is if people are playing on PC and someone chooses to use a controller but certainly not the other way around. This is why Zims are a problem. If you don't know, a Zim allows a console to accept mouse and keyboard support. This is widely seen as cheating by the vast majority of console players, so official mouse and keyboard support could be a massive issue. But I am saying could be. This isn't a definite catastrophe, and there are elements of hope and encouragement in the linked article. It says that developers will be able to lock out peripherals if they so wish. So say a new Halo comes out, and they don't want mouse and keyboard to be used on that game, they can choose to lock it out, which would obviously see us avoid the issues I've mentioned. Also, Microsoft have stated that devs must monitor how mouse and keyboard performs and then adjust gameplay to maintain balance with controllers. Which sounds great, that is good stuff, but I do have two potential problems with that. One, just how do you alter things in order to maintain balance? Do you nerf the speed or precision of the mouse and keyboard? Or do you buff the auto rotation and aim assist of controllers? There may well be other ways of doing it, but those two things that I've initially thought of, and the only two that pop into my head straight away, I really don't like the sound of. It just makes things less fun and intuitive overall. And then number two, what's the measure for performance levels? What's to say a dev team can't just say they're happy with the balance and choose to leave it alone? Are Microsoft going to enforce changes if they're needed? I guess we'll just have to see. But what about the potential for controller users to get frustrated with a game when it comes out for example, and the devs don't adjust it quickly enough, and it drives people away, and it starts killing off IPs? There are lots of potential problems. Finally, I did see in another article that some people are saying maybe there will be keyboard only servers and such like, but that just further splits up the player base of games, which is never a good thing. Plus, realistically, how many people are going to play on keyboard only servers on console? Surely most people will play with a keyboard on console because they want to either have the advantage or they want to be able to play with their console playing friends who likely use controllers. So overall, I'm not all that impressed by hearing of news of potential 
special keyboard and mouse support on Xbox, but it's only logical that we'd eventually reach this point. If this all works out fine, then awesome. But I can't really see how it will at the minute. I'm not saying it'll be a disaster, but I just feel like it's likely to either be unbalanced for controller users, not fun for mouse and keyboard users if they have to be nerfed away from the experience that they could just have on PC, or it'll be pointless if crossplay isn't viable. But this is all just my opinion, and I am in absolutely no way always correct. So what do you think? Are you okay with mouse and keyboard on console? Are you excited about it? Or do you hate the idea? Let me know in the comments below. Now let's go over to the board of awesome for the epic people who allow you to get content from me full time by supporting the channel on Patreon. They are the main reason you're watching this video right now. So thanks to everyone on here. If you want to join them on the board of awesome, the link to the Patreon page is in the description and in my pinned comment. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't want to miss future videos, turn on notifications with the bell button and select to always be notified on the options tab that should then pop up and then feel free to like share and subscribe i'm get good guy and i'll see you next time laters